Hi, I'm Abraham Morgenthaler. I'm an associate clinical professor at Harvard Medical School and Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center, and also the director and founder of Men's Health uh, Boston. I'm here to talk today about our paper that's coming out in Mayo Clinic Proceedings. The fundamental concepts regarding testosterone deficiency and treatment and international expert consensus resolutions. What we did here is we pulled together 18 experts uh, from four continents and 11 countries in the fields of urology, andrology, endocrinology, diabetology, internal medicine, and basic science. All the individuals on this panel had either extensive research or clinical experience with testosterone, and we focused on nine fundamental concepts in an attempt to see if we could find consensus. The meeting was held in Prague in the Czech Republic on October 1st, 2015, uh, under the aegis of the International Society for the Study of the Aging Male, and sponsored also by King's College uh, London. Um, we invited the FDA as well as the European Medicines Agency to participate because several of these concerns uh, that have appeared in the media and in medical literature have actually been generated by these regulatory uh, agencies. Uh, the FDA declined, but the European Medicines Agency did um, uh, allow a participant uh, who participated in a non-voting uh, capacity. The meeting was organized around nine resolutions and how uh, we organized this was that there was a presenter who presented the science to everyone at the meeting. Uh, there was a discussant who then provided an alternative uh, or uh, additional views and then uh, the resolution itself was then opened up uh, for general discussion. We had vigorous debate on the wording of each of these resolutions and in the end, after having changed uh, the wording of several of these in response to uh, points and comments made during our uh, discussions, in the end we had unanimous agreement on all of these. The nine resolutions that we discussed ranged from the fact that testosterone deficiency is an important medical uh, condition that affects male sexuality, reproduction, general health and well-being. We continued on to the testosterone deficiency as a global health concern. And we addressed other issues such as whether or not testosterone therapy is associated with increased risk of prostate cancer and cardiovascular disease. And we concluded that it was not for either one. We also looked at several controversial or topical issues such as whether one needs to have an identified etiology or cause of testosterone deficiency in order to merit treatment. This is a concept that has been put forth by the FDA. Our group found no evidence to support this and as the cause of the symptoms and the manifestations of testosterone deficiency come from the decline in testosterone itself regardless of what the underlying etiology uh, may be. Another issue that I would just comment on here uh, since our time is short, is the idea of having a cut point or a threshold at which point one should not treat men due to age. And it was our conclusion that there was no evidence to support this, that older men appear to respond just as well to testosterone therapy as do younger men. The fact that we were able to get unanimous agreement from such a broad uh, group of experts uh, is very important because what it speaks to is that uh, physicians and researchers, all of whom had extensive clinical and research experience with testosterone deficiency and its treatment, could agree on several fundamental concepts. And although one would never want to say that there are no areas of dispute within the field, of course there are, but these fundamental concepts, including several that are controversial, were not controversial for this group. In addition, in this article, our group addresses several of the commonly raised uh, concerns about testosterone therapy. These include comments such as testosterone therapy is investigational or experimental, that the symptoms do not merit treatment, that the testosterone deficiency occurs as a normal part of aging and therefore doesn't merit treatment, and even that the condition of testosterone deficiency or low T doesn't exist. 
Uh, our international panel found no evidence to support any of these concepts. Low testosterone is a well-established condition that has been documented in medical textbooks going on for generations. Testosterone therapy has risks, as do all medical treatments, but to call it risky, I think, is an unfair overall assessment. And finally, in terms of age, uh, we treat a whole variety of age-related conditions in medicine, including cardiovascular disease, uh, pulmonary disease, diabetes, hypertension, um, poor vision, poor hearing, arthritis, and even cancer. And the idea that just because something becomes more prevalent as we get older is not by itself a reason to not treat it. We found that the testosterone therapy is an important treatment for men who have the condition of testosterone deficiency. Speaking on behalf of this very distinguished international scientific uh, expert consensus panel, our goal here was to actually address the fundamental concepts of this field to lay down a foundation on which further research and discussions can take place. We believe that by presenting the scientific evidence uh, to the public and to the medical community uh, that we can move forward in a way uh, that will help our patients and also help the research. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.